The Manuscript of Survival, Part 430. November 17, 2014. For now, what has been set into motion can no longer be negated, and as such, all of the consequent reactions will come about from a positive energetic charge, even if some of the outcome of it may be labeled as negative by those still set on maintaining status quo. Let us elaborate. You see, this whole chain of events that is now in the middle of being activated is one that will have far-reaching consequences, and as we have already informed you, the rippling effect from what is taking place on this little planet of yours is far greater than you at your current level perhaps can even begin to understand. And when we say current level, we simply refer to your ability to fully tap into your very own reservoir of inherent knowledge. In other words, we are not calling you incapable in any way, simply reminding you that things will become clearer to you at a pace that will make it possible for you to literally digest it. For when we refer to mankind's choice to truly take the required quantum leap that is absolutely necessary for this whole operation to come about, it is also implied that this quantum leap will come about in such a way, it will serve its intended purpose, namely to shift the entire region into a frequency that will be beneficial to all that inhabits it. And so, everything needs to come about at the exact right time frame and in the stipulated sequence, so that all the chips may fall in their designated directions. Again, we speak in convoluted terms, but again, it is simply to allow you to better take in the underlying message in this message. For as we have already repeated repeatedly, what this contains is something that far surpasses the mere wording of it, and as such, we need at times to make these rather circuitous routes in order to better help you to get the gist of the message. And the gist of this message is simply this, you are no longer where you used to be, and neither is this planet that you live upon. And the same goes for your immediate surroundings. For you have already changed the very fabric of the universe to such a degree, nothing can ever be the same again. And remember, these changes come about in a way that will be hard to define from a human's standpoint, but it will be very easily identified when you look upon it from our point of view. For we can see that the very basics that your world has been built upon has already been changed, and so, the algorithms are indeed brand new. On the outside, it may not look like much, merely a few scattered numerals that have shifted ever so slightly over a period of a few days, but what these slight changes will in effect do, is to set off a cascade of rippling effects that will tear away all of the old and restricting cocooning material that you have been swaddled in, almost like the ancient peoples used to do to safeguard their deceased. In other words, the ripples will spread out from these minuscule gashes in that old fabric, the fabric that was woven with so much care in order for you to strain and struggle against it until the day you finally opened your eyes and opened your hearts and realized that the only way to end the struggle is simply to surrender to the powers that you carry within you, the ones that have been there all along, waiting for you to rediscover their presence at the very core of your being. And then, this process of unraveling the old illusion in order to fully set free not just you, but the whole and glorious truth of who all of you are begin to come alive in such a way, there is no way now anyone can stop this old cocoon from dissolving completely. But again, when something dissolves, it inevitably leaves a gaping hole in someone's armor, as in the walls that so many of your fellow men are still busy keeping intact. For not all are ready to face the reality after living lifetime after lifetime enshrouded in a wall of make-believe, and so, to them, there will be much anguish, pain, and indeed anger erupting within. For with this new clarity also comes a new insight, and that is that you are no longer beholden onto others to make your life a good life. But with this realization also comes another realization, namely that you can no longer blame your misfortunes on anyone else either. And for some, that realization will perhaps to them be perceived as the heaviest burden to bear. For with freedom also comes responsibility, and this is not as easy to embrace as the idea of freedom. For freedom means that you are once again aware of creating your own lives, and so, there is no longer any outside source that can or will be blamed for any perceived misfortunes that may befall you along the way. We know that this will not be news to many of you, for you have stepped into this truth a long time ago 
But again, we want to remind you that you are not yet amongst the majority on this planet, and so, what you have seen as the dawning of the new, they will simply see as the disintegration of all that they have staked their very existence upon, and so, they will rebel in any way they can, and the range with which they will display their dissent will vary, from anger to sadness, from fear to downright terror. But again, this will simply be the final nail in the coffin of the old, if we may use such blunt words to describe the shift that is taking place now. For remember, you have already pushed the buttons that activated this whole operation by your willingness to fully embrace your inner light, and so, what comes around now will be a change that will affect all, and it will do so because you as a collective have come to a place where a decision was needed, and the decision was to say a resounding yes to the new. And so, the wills of change will roll faster and faster now, and as such, more and more of your everyday actions will be governed by this new light that is imbuing every sentient being on this planet. And yes, enough of you have already chosen to open your hearts to this light, and this in itself is more than enough to set the wheels rolling. And so, what took only a small number of the population of this planet to make come into being, will give every single one of the souls currently inhabiting this little sphere the same chance to take part in the process of recreating your world. And so, the call has gone out, the call to join in on this magnificent makeover, a makeover that far surpasses anything ever accomplished anywhere else in all of creation. And make no mistake, you do have a lot of things that needs to be rectified before this whole project is over, but again, there will be no lack of willing hands nor of inquisitive minds that will join forces with you, the true vanguards. For as we have told you again and again, you already possess everything you need in order to fulfill every single dream you might carry within of the paradise you so long for. There is no lack of skills, nor of manpower, nor of resources, and as you have finally allowed yourselves to re-enter the ancient halls of knowledge that has been kept safely hidden away until you as a collective were once again ready to enter them, there is no longer anything nor anyone standing in your way for this whole thing to become a success beyond compare. And so we say again, know that all is well, and take every single eruption of fear, anger or hatred as clear signals of the advent of the new world. For you have felt it already, and now, it will begin to seep into the consciousness of every single individual on this planet. For some, it will be such a welcome sight, they will instantaneously know just what to do in order to fully embrace the new. While for others, the very idea will still provoke their old gut instinct to safeguard the very last piece of security they can cling on to, namely the very idea itself that change must be avoided at all cost. And so, they will dig in their heels and protest in any way they can. But we can confidently predict that the latter will be the minority this time, for remember, on a higher level, it has been a decision that was made with an overwhelming majority. And the answer you gave back when the question was raised, was simply this. Yes, now, we are finally ready to step away from the old and fully embrace the totality of our being, and to re-enter the prosperity of love that we for so long have turned our backs to. For you as a collective are more than ready to take to these shimmering waters yet again, and it is you, the forerunners, who have been given the wonderful task of being the first ones to take the plunge. And so once again we thank you all on behalf of all of creation. You have chosen well, and you have already set your actions behind your words, and the actions that have already been accomplished by what may seem to be only a small handful of individuals scattered all over your world, will have a far-reaching and wondrous effect on all. And for that, we can only once more extend our greatest gratitude, and we would also like to add that from now on. The pace of this ripping apart will continue to escalate at such a pace, it may at times literally take your breath away. But for you, we know the breathlessness will come out of pure and simple joy, and the knowledge that will come apart now, will do so in order to make it all come together again in a way that will bring joy into the hearts of all. The Constant Companions Channeled by Asia North AsiaNorth.wordpress.com